Hey guys, uh, my name is Sydney. Welcome back to our channel. And today I'm going to be talking to you about Facebook ad image sizes and best practice for different placements on inside of your Facebook ads. Um, so what we see most of the time, and honestly, something that I used to do was simply create a square image because everyone said that you know square the square format was the best size to have for a Facebook ad or any sort of um, post that you're making because it kind of takes up the most amount of room but now we're seeing lots of results on different in different ad placements so we need to adjust those images accordingly and i'm going to show you how to do that and the best practice for it so i'm inside of my ads manager right now and typically what i would do is i would just upload this image right here which is actually five tools to simplify and improve facebook advertising so that's actually something that we're giving away for free right now so if you did want to download the five tools that we actually use every single week with our clients from um, their onboarding to managing and actually optimizing their facebook ads you can go ahead and download those five tools um, i'll put the link in the description below but anyways I would use a creative like this or something along these lines um, for an ad that I would create for, for these tools. What I've done for the ad set level and the placement is I've just chosen automatic placements down here. It's recommended by Facebook. They're doing a lot to find the best variations for you and for your ads. They have a pretty good system of doing that. So I always, in most cases, unless we want to specifically target one sort of placement, I'll just put on automatic placements and let Facebook do the job. So that's what I've done here. So when we're uploading an image ad, it basically can go across all different placements. Um, and if we just kept it the square format, then there'd be some placements that Facebook will add their own background to it based on what your ad looks like. So for example, we can actually view it by pressing the, the view placements. Um, and so you'll see here that let me, for a story placement, for example, you'll see that this, like we didn't optimize this image to fit a story which Facebook does a pretty good job. You know, they put some light blue up here, dark blue down here to match the picture, but it could look a lot better and look native to that placement. And that's what we want to do because we want people to feel like that was meant to be on their story and some ad showing up. And the best way to do that is to actually optimize it for that placement. So if you're using Canva or really any other sort of photo editing software, if it's Photoshop, uh, whatever the other ones are. We use Canva, it's really simple to use. Um, it doesn't require that much coding or it doesn't require any coding. It's just, it's really really easy and there's lots of vers versatility. So what you would want to start off doing is just go over here and select an Instagram post. So this will bring up the recommended size, which is 1080 by 1080, and that will give you the square format. So if you just click this one here, this is what will show up. So it gives you a nice square format and you can start to create your ad this way. Now for this video, I've already done it. I'm not gonna build the entire thing right now. So this is what I came up with. So once you download it, what you can do so that you don't have to restart making the entire creative again, is go in the left-hand corner here and press resize. Now this is where you can choose a new size for your ad to like be made in. So a story, for example, um, that's one of the placements that we want to edit. And it would show up in other places too, but story is kind of what we can base it off of. So if I just type in story, Facebook story, Instagram story, same size, it's 1080 by 1920 pixels. So I could choose either one of these. I'm going to press it and then I'll press copy and resize. So it'll take this entire design copy it but for the new size that way you don't have to build the entire thing over again so again i've already done this so this is what it'll look like when it gets copied but again like that doesn't really look like it's native to the story although it does look better i've got to say like if you just really wanted to keep it like that you could probably pass by doing that but what i've done is i've kind of made it 
look a little bit more like it was for a story if I've put the text and the images all across uh, the, 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 the size of the image so that it actually looks like it was made for stories or wherever place, whatever placement that it's going to go to. So then I can download this one just by going here and I would choose either PNG or if you're adding some animations to it, download it as an MP4, which is also another great option. Um, and then once I'm done that, you can just go resize again or you can go back to the square one since um, it'll be easier to actually like edit it all again. It's more similar to the square. So I'm gonna go back to resize. And now I know the dimensions that we need for a Facebook ad for the horizontal view would be 1920 by 1080, which is basically the same size as the story format, except uh, opposite because it's more horizontal rather than vertical. So I copy and resize it. And then it's gonna turn out to be something like this. Now, obviously because it was a square format before, everything is crunched to the middle. So again, I've gone through it and I've edited it the way that I would like to. And this is how it comes up. Okay, and I just added this one over here because I want them to know that they can get access for free um, because we have all this room to fill up. It's always the same content, same background, same text that you have in there, the same kind of fonts. You don't want to get confused with which creative or colors that you're using for different you want to know that this ad is producing this result because of everything that i've used in this and not simply the placement because it looked different i hope that makes sense but i want to, you want to keep everything consistent between the horizontal view vertical and also square okay so download all of those go back to your ads manager and once you upload a square format what you can do is scroll down and you'll see edit placement. Okay. So you want to click select a placement to edit and you'll see that there's six placements that use a square, which is the one to one ratio. There's five placements that use the full screen vertical, which is a nine to 16 ratio, which is the stories, what the stories look like. And then there's three placements that use the horizontal view. So which has to be a 1.91 to one ratio. So since I've already uploaded the square format, I'm going to go to stories, apps and sites, and I'm actually going to change that image. So if you do go over right here, you press change. And I have already uploaded it. So I'm just actually gonna click it right here. And now you can see that it takes up the entire story. Okay. So if you wanted to add any specific primary text headlines or link to this specific placement, you could do so here. And you also get the option to add a poll. So you could like ask questions and people could respond to it. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to show you how to change the creative for the different placements. So press save. And now you can see that four placements use this image, nine placements use this image. And now I also want to add the horizontal one. I'm going to press change. And I'll press this right here. Okay, so I've uploaded that. Now, if you're getting this here, um, that's just because there's no link here. So I'll just put our website. Oh, it's actually spelled wrong. <laughs> all right. And then here is where you can see all the different placements that you'll have, what it's going to look like. And you'll see that actually down here, the apps and sites, I don't get anything because they're for videos and this is not a video, it was an image. So that's why it looks like that. Um, but yeah, we found actually that when, when you actually take the time to optimize it for the different placements, you actually get end up getting better results because people feel as though it's more native to that placement. So for example, when that creative isn't really meant for that placement, it can kind of look out of place or it looks too small. Um, it's like not the really the right size. And I'll show you a few examples here. So for example, um, there's actually a screenshot that I took on one of on my uh, personal um, 
Facebook. And you can see here on the right hand side, there's a nice square format. Um, you can see like it's taking up as much room as it can. You can really easily read this text, whereas this one you actually can't really. So it's kind of something to take into account the kind of like what the placement is gonna, what the image is gonna look like in that placement. So for this one, for Hotjar, for example, I actually would probably recommend to go back into the placement for the right, um, right sidebar and maybe make it so the text looks a little bit bigger so you can see it. And that's maybe something that you could also take into account when you're creating those kind of ads. But this one right here by Shopify, you can see like sell your homemade goods. It looks really great. I know exactly what um, I, can, I can see it. I can read it really well. So that's a really great placement. Whereas if you look at another ad that I saw, here by ClickFunnels, it's actually pretty small because you can see that it wasn't edited or that image wasn't edited specifically for that placement. So now not only is it missing out on the space that it's taking, I can't even read that. Like that's, that's too small. I generate, lead, I mean, okay, I can if I bring my head a little bit closer, but it doesn't really catch my attention, right? Now, something else that I saw here you know, for Bowflex, you know, I, I know the company, but this ad actually isn't really that compelling. You can see it's almost like off center a bit too. Like it doesn't really look like it's meant to be there. Um, there isn't much color behind it. So especially in that kind of placement, you can't really see it that well. It's not really compelling. So always think about the kind of colors also that you're using. You want to use bright colors um, that they can easily read. They can easily see what it is. Whereas if this had maybe like some things behind it to show me like a little bit more of what it was, I would understand it a little bit more. So those are just some examples of placements that were not optimized for that uh, specific image. So I hope that kind of helps out, gives you a clearer picture of why you should be editing them for those specific placements and how to do it. Um, if you're using any other tool other than Canva, same principles, just resize the image so that it is specific for that placement. And I guarantee after you make those changes, you'll actually start to see better results within your Facebook ads because people feel like it's really meant for that placement and they're able to read it better but always make sure that when you're making your creatives that people will be able to read it um and actually now that i think of it maybe this text is actually a little bit too small and that people wouldn't be able to read that if it was on the right hand side so just some th little things to keep into account when you're making them also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if this, you did find this valuable and i'll catch you in the next video